Hi, this is Will Butler from the Arcade Fire, and thank you for watching OnStageWeb.com and TVN. We've always tried to do the same thing with every with every album, and for us, it I find it's always been more about songs. It's about trying to make really great songs and trying to fully realize the songs and produce them and and make them make the music fully support the words and and really focusing on that aspect, and then taking a larger look once that's set. So we've always just tried to make good songs and try to make them good. Uh, and this, I felt like maybe we, we completed that process a little more. Not necessarily that the songs are better or worse or the album is better or worse, but I think we more fully realized it this time, just in terms of technical expertise and patience and money, things like that. Uh, so I think this is a maybe a more complete final piece than the other albums. But I, I think I hope that we still have some gas in the tank. There was more variety on this album. Because on Neon Bible, we mostly did it in the studio we bought in this church, about 40 minutes from Montreal. And on this album, we did some songs there, but we did some songs in Wynn's house. We did some songs more in the studio, like there was a little studio, or people took stuff home and worked on it at home, or pieces of it at home. So there was a greater breadth of experience, but I think it contained similar things to what we had done on Neon Bible. It was kind of a bit more of a return to how we worked on Funeral where we did stuff in Wynn's apartment and did stuff at the studio. Um, so it was a little more hodgepodge this time. Wynn is really the songwriter chiefly, or Wynn and Regine. Sometimes he'll come with a song that's basically done and we'll kind of potchy it together. Sometimes we'll, we'll create something together, like as a band we'll all be playing and something will form, or a piece of something will form and then we'll smash on another piece we had. Um, and sometimes Wynn will come with something completely formed and we'll take it and turn it 70 degrees in a different direction. It's kind of whoever, whoever is most passionate about the song tends to direct it more, tends to determine the energy of it more. So like a song like Sprawl 2, which is Regine's song, Wynn was really passionate about it and I was really passionate about some of the songs. So on the realization of it, it's maybe more me and Wynn and less Tim. But on a different song, or a song like Modern Man, was really completely cohesive and coherent and natural. And we played it and it all felt like a complete product from the beginning. Or there's some songs that Richard will really go to town on. So it's pretty song by song. kind of not our job to interpret it. It's our job to, to produce it and to make the art. If people see that as a, a metaphor or something, I, I think that's a perfectly valid interpretation. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four. I think the visual element just provides more connections, more, more ways to relate to something, more 
triggers for memory or triggers to your, to your life. And I think we wanted to just create that network of emotions and memories a little tighter with a, and it's, I think of it as an independent piece, the scenes from the suburbs, but to create something that approaches the themes and the moods of the album, but in its own way and from you know, his perspective more than ours since he was ultimately the director. Spike, you know, he's one of the best music video directors of all time, but we've never had the budget really to do a real music video. But on this project, we thought we might be, might have some money for visuals. Also, he had just finished Where the Wild Things Are and he'd been using our, our songs, not in the movie, but in the filming to set a scene or to set a mood while he was filming. But that had finished, and that took him like seven years. So he was kind of looking to cleanse his palette with shorter, weirder projects. And so it was just kind of the schedules worked out, and we decided to jump on and do something a little bigger than a music video. have a very low level of success without the internet. Like we wouldn't, we wouldn't be where we are if originally people hadn't passed funeral around from friend, friend to friend and all that. So we certainly lose a fair bit of money to the internet now, but it's also like, you know, it's the mother that gave us birth, so how, how can you hate it? How can you hate your mother? <laughs>